Yeah, I saw this video from Ali Abdal, a doctor and YouTuber under the productivity and self-improvement niche on perfectionism and how it can ruin your life. I thought it's going to be a good topic to talk about and see how we can apply this concept in photography. As photographers, you know too well the feeling of capturing an epic shot and these moments are what motivate you to push harder and create something better and pursue perfect shots every single time we go out. This perfectionist mindset can be very damaging. So I'm just going to summarize Ali's video and you can definitely watch it in full later on, it's worth a watch. But there are going to be three main problems that stem from perfectionism. The first one is called the productivity paradox where higher levels of perfectionism will lead to poorer results. And this is because perfectionists they are unable to react when things don't go their way. Just like stepping on shit. When you try to be perfect at every single thing you do, it can also lead to burnout, which will eventually lead to suboptimal results. The second problem is called the perfectionism trap, which as people, we inherently want to portray ourselves as being great at what we do. So we set very high standards, setting us up to failure if we don't meet them, because once we fail, then we feel that we aren't good enough anymore. And the third one is the imposter syndrome, which can stem from both internal and external pressures because we live in a highly competitive society and we can start comparing our own accomplishments and capabilities to other people, making ourselves doubt our own self-worth. A common instance for photographers is social media, where you might compare yourselves to others who are gaining more popularity and can photograph the pretty ladies. But then you realize you're never going to achieve this because you're a landscape photographer. Well, before you click off and think that the solution to this perfectionism problem is to just be mediocre and stop chasing memorable moments, that's not exactly the point, but instead to keep a healthy mindset when we face more difficult situations. Ali categorizes people into two groups, the perfectionists and the healthy strivers. Perfectionists are so afraid of failure that they will avoid starting the task at hand. And to counter this, you need to set reasonable expectations. Just like today, I mainly just went out to do some photography, do a bit of hiking, and vlog the experience. I don't want to expect that I'll come away with an epic shot. Even though deep down, I kind of want to have it. But I think that's one of the problems that you get from posting your work online. You kind of give yourself this internal pressure that every photo you post should be a banger, which is far from reality. There are things that you simply just can't control. So just live in the moment, accept simplicity, be one with nature, and surrender yourself to failure. Just don't tell that to Asian parents because you'll get disowned. Do you know what B stand for? B stand for stupid. In photography, if you're too fixated in getting that money shot, you might miss out on the fun that comes with the process of attaining it. So just enjoy the process and go out even though it's unlikely that you'll come away with something spectacular. Because if you do get that spectacular shot without expecting it, it makes it just that much sweeter. So there's a couple more tips that Ali gives out in his video. But for now, let's talk about the hike. I'm currently exploring the Haijong Peak Trail, which is the third steepest mountain here in Hong Kong. And I mostly come here for a sunrise shoot, and it's the first time that I'm exploring this hike on the midday sun. So the forecast earlier for the weather wasn't too promising, but I went out anyway, because it's the entire point of the video, which is to forego all expectations and go out to shoot anyway. But now, it isn't too bad. There's still a lot of clouds, but the light itself isn't as gray and dull as I expected. So that's a bonus. While predicting the weather and chasing certain conditions and light is a necessary skill, especially for a landscape photographer, that healthy mindset of being able to manage expectations will enable you to face any form of adversity. <sighs> So it appears the clouds crept up to me again. And this view, you're supposed to see the entirety of the peak of the mountain, which is very, very beautiful, which I'll flash some past photos for reference. Huh. Maybe I'll wait it out. Maybe the clouds will dissipate. <laughs> Okay, so while we wait, know that for one instance of success, you might encounter multiple failures. So accept that failure is normal and it's part of the learning process that can give you more understanding and data. You can't always expect to get those epic conditions unless of course you know how to do some form of weather dance, but sadly I have two left feet. Maybe you didn't get the shots this time, but you can treat this failure as a scouting process. 
You know more about the location now. You know the conditions that you should be looking for in the future. And by simply exploring that location, you might be able to find new compositions to work with in the future. Almost at the top and came from all the way over there. Whew. Struggle. Kind of short, but really, really steep. To further fight the problems that comes with perfectionism, Ali also suggests to step outside of your comfort zone. By placing yourself in unfamiliar or uncomfortable situations, you learn to cope with failure a little bit more. For example, in photography, this could be as simple as learning a new skill, like focus stacking, long exposures, or trying out a different compositional rule that you are unfamiliar with. So instead of focusing on achieving those success factors, you can just learn to enjoy the process of improving your current skill set. So there's one more final tip from Ali Abdal's video, but the light now is having a bit more color, although visibility is kind of poor. Uh, I can still see the silhouettes of the faraway buildings. So let's see if we can take a few more shots. But yeah, this hike turned out a lot better than I expected. I thought I was just gonna get some gray, dull, no visibility kind of day. But now, over here, it's a good day. <laughs> In the long run, it's good to set what you call the SMART goals. For example, get X number of subscribers, please subscribe. Or take X number of epic shots that you're proud of every month. Or even win a photography competition. But also, you should mix this with what you call open-ended goals, which are broad in nature and flexible in how you can achieve them. For example, ooh, I want to travel more this year. Or let's see how many photos I can take on this hike. Or maybe just get more positive feedback in the photos that I can take. This way, you can give yourself some challenges and force yourself to grow while still feeling that you're meeting expectations one way or another. Despite thoughts of giving up earlier because of the poor visibility, I decided to be patient and take my time on the peak, which then led to some interesting photos, as the light peeped through and some clouds circled the cityscapes. I think this was an unexpectedly sweet success. So, just a quick hike today, but I think I'm going to call it a day. But hopefully you enjoy this video and able to apply the concepts that we've learned from Ali Abdal's video on perfectionism. And if you enjoyed, why don't you click on this video? See you there. Thanks for watching.